Hi, I'm Rachel Williams and I'm the admissions tutor for the business management degrees at Cardiff University. Unfortunately, due to the current situation, we're unable to invite you to come and look around our business school to help you make your decision. And so I'm recording this from my home in Chepstow. Hopefully it'll give you just a chance to get to know some of the key things about the course that you would have seen if you'd been able to come and see us. So why study business? Um, I think one of the key things is that it's very relevant to the real world. So we've all had experience of working um, with organisations, dealing with different businesses. And so the things that we teach you are things that you can relate to. Um, there are also excellent career prospects, um, and that's global opportunities as well as opportunities at home. We teach you a wide range of skills that you can use when you're working and in different aspects of your life. Um, so you will have lots of experience of problem solving, presentation skills, group work, analytical skills. So lots of, of different things that uh, will be very useful. When we look at businesses, we look at them from different perspectives. So we would look at um, business from a shareholder point of view, an employee point of view, a customer point of view, and anybody else, suppliers, who would interact with that um, organisation. We also look at different types of organisation. So we would look at multinationals, but also the public sector, small businesses, and third sector organisations. So you get a feel for every different type of organisation and how they operate. So within the degrees that we offer for, to undergraduates, we have nine different degrees. Um, our most popular is our general degrees, but then we have specialist degrees. And these enable you to concentrate on one particular um, aspect of business. So you may choose to um, concentrate on logistics or marketing, or you can choose to have a degree with a year out. And we have two different schemes and with any of our degrees you can choose to have a year out to do a professional placement and this would be the third year of the degree and you could spend that time working for an organisation and we have students who've done all sorts of placements so worked for organisations such as Jaguar Land Rover, Amazon, Microsoft, IBM, um, Dow Corning if you have an organisation that you're interested in, it may be that we can find a placement for you and you can work with our placements officer to find a placement there. We also have the opportunity for you to study abroad for this year. And so you would do a four year degree with your third year abroad. And you would study in one of our partner organisations studying business related modules and we have opportunities in various countries so we've had students who've gone to Hong Kong to Australia to France Germany um, and we would hope that that opportunity would still be um, available for students who are starting um, in the future all those de uh, degrees would be taught in English so you don't need to have any uh, language qualification the important thing with the degrees is that you haven't got to decide when you start with us so one of the key things is that you can sign up for one of our degrees and then throughout your first year, you may decide that actually you prefer something else. So if you come in thinking you're determined you want to do marketing, um, but then you find you really love logistics, well, that's fine. And at the start of your second year, you can switch. So you've got plenty of time to get to know what you want to do. So how will you be taught? Well, we teach you in a mix of lectures and tutorials. So lectures are large groups, um, often very big groups that we would teach in our big lecture theatres and you would look at many different uh, types of business. So it might be that we use case studies to teach you, it might be we have speakers coming in from industry to talk about their experiences. Um, you would be taught theory, you would be um, taught uh, different models and so we take that opportunity to give you your facts. Um, and there are plenty of opportunities in those lectures to participate and to ask questions. However, we supplement those lectures with tutorials and tutorials will take place with just between sort of 12 and 20 students in the tutorial. And that gives you a chance to really apply the information that we uh, teach to you in the lectures. So you may be more comfortable asking questions in that environment. 
So sometimes you might have workshops for you to um, ask questions about things that you find difficult. Or you can look in detail at particular cases, you can do group presentations, you could go on site visits. So in those small groups, you really get to um, interrogate the information in a bit more detail. So in terms of what the course looks like in detail, as I said, the first year is a chance for you to, to really get to know um, the information that we're giving you and the, the different aspects of business. So you would spend time looking at um, the key points, so a bit of time on finance, a bit of time on marketing, a bit of time on HR. In the first year, there are seven compulsory modules. Um, everybody does the same, and this allows you to be flexible and to change your mind if you want to. It doesn't count towards the overall degree. So it gives you a chance to find your feet and to transition from being at school, living at home and being in a university environment where you need to be a bit more independent. The only thing is it doesn't count, but for some of our degrees, you do need to get um, 60 in your first year to be eligible. And I'll talk about that um, in a minute. So the core modules in the first year would be introduction to accounting, management theory and evidence, marketing, people in organisations, society and economy, and then two shorter modules, so technology in the digital age and operations management. And so those give you a really good spread of the um, information that you need to know in order to get a good foundation in business. In your second year, you get to specialise. And so you either carry on the degree that you've chosen or you can choose to opt to one of the more specialised uh, pathways. You do five compulsory modules and then you get the chance to choose either a long module or two short modules. There is plenty of choice. Um, and if you look on our website, you'll be able to find the list of all the, the modules that we offer. So the compulsory uh, modules again cover some of the key things, so you would look at managing people, marketing, um, leading uh, organisations, finance, performance, um, and then there are many optional modules. The second year is 40% of your degree. So by now you should be getting stuck into the work um, and putting a bit of effort, effort in. What you can do in your second year is choose to study abroad for your second semester, and this would be the international route or you could choose to participate in a work placement for that second year. If you want to do this you would need to have 60% in your first year um, because it does mean that you've got to cram quite a lot into that what the uh, your one second year. So if you choose to do an integrated work placement then it's a five month placement. Um, it's credit bearing and you're paid for the placement. So on average about £250 a week and you would get practical work-based experience. And you can do those placements in similar organisations that you can do your year out. If you choose to study abroad, again, very similar to taking the whole year to study, um, except you would just go from January to July to one of the partner universities. You don't need a knowledge of the second language um, and the subjects that you study there, you will take those credits and bring them back to use towards your degree um, in the UK. Students who've taken the opportunity to study abroad or um, undertake a professional placement have said it's been invaluable. They have loved the experience, loved the people they've met and found that it's been great to take that experience and apply it to the final year when they've returned. So certainly something that's worth considering. Then in your final year at Cardiff, um, if you're taking the general route, there are two compulsory modules and you have 40 credits of optional modules. So you can be really flexible at this point and study the things that you find most interesting and which will be most useful to you when you're working. If you're doing a specialist route, then you do the same compulsory modules. You do 40 credits from specialised modules and then you have 40 credits that you can choose as well. And what this really means is that we've already selected the most relevant modules from the options for you to do, which fit in with your specialised module. And 60% of the third year degree uh, will count towards your degree. So this is where you really have to be working hard um, and making a difference. 
Um, there's a very wide range of choice of optional modules. Um, things like entrepreneurship and business startups, um, ethics and morality of business, cultural marketing, um, Japanese and Asian management. So a whole range of things think that I think is going to appeal to everybody. But again, have a look on the website and you can get a feel for what we can offer. I think that there is a, a plenty of other information around about studying at Cardiff, but there are some things that I think are important to know and that I think make us a, a special place to study. Um, and the most important of those is that it's a really friendly place. The, the staff are keen to help. They want students to succeed. And therefore, if you want help, there are plenty of people you can go to. Um, so if you don't understand something, you can email your lecturer. Um, we always have people after the lecture who'll come and talk to us. Um, we want you to understand what we're talking about and we want you to succeed. All the staff have office hours. Um, so they let you know when they're in their office and just ready to see students. So you can pop along and uh, cover anything that you're finding difficult. And I think that makes a difference um, when everything's a bit new and a bit strange and you're not quite sure um, what to do. We're also very lucky in the business school to have our own in-house student support. Denise is brilliant, has plenty of time for students. And you can go and have a chat to her if you've got issues with studying, with finance, with visas or if you're just feeling homesick and want to have a chat to somebody. The really good thing is that she is supported by Winnie the dog. And Winnie the dog comes in um, every week and goes around, sits in the coffee shop, um, wanders around the business school and just talks to students, or at least sits around and lets students make a fuss of her. Um, and she's brilliant. And if you get the chance to come for an open day, you'll have to come and see Winnie. The other thing that we're very lucky to have is a brilliant employability centre. We have our own careers officers um, who are fantastic and they will do mock interviews with you. They will talk to you about job opportunities. They will prepare you for assessment centres. Um, and that's really valuable when it comes to applying for jobs. So although applying for jobs seems like a long way off, um, they encourage you to start from your first year to be preparing uh, for when you're applying. Um, as I've said before, our degrees are very flexible. I think that's important. You don't have to start knowing what you want to do. You've got a whole year to, to think about what you like. And then generally in terms of the business school, we, we are a public value business school. And what that means is that we think that social success is as important as economic success. And therefore, that will be a theme that runs through the lectures and the um, activities that we do within the school. We find that that's been really popular um, with students. So they get the chance to go out to work with charities um, and to get involved with charities within the business school. We have been ranked sixth in the research excellence framework um, for research quality. And that's relevant to students because those researchers are the people who teach you. And so you really get to get the cutting edge. Um, we were also ranked joint first in relation to supportive environment for research. Um, and finally, just in relation to accommodation, um, all our students who put Cardiff as their firm or insurance choice um, are guaranteed accommodation. So you haven't got to worry that you will be stuck trying to look for accommodation. Um, in terms of employability, Cardiff is excellent in terms of finding jobs and obviously the whole point or one of the points of going to university is that you'll get a good job at the end of it. Um, so Cardiff has a 95.6% rating in terms of students finding employment or further education when they leave um, and that's even higher than Oxford and Cambridge. Um, the business school uh, has a 97% employability rating. So almost all of our students will leave with good jobs um, or opportunities to study further if that's what they've chosen to do. And our students go off and do all sorts of interesting things. So they will have marketing assistant roles, HR assistant roles, there are many joining high profile um, graduate um, employment schemes. Um, so there are, there are many good opportunities. So what do you need to get in? Um, and that's the, the key thing. Um, so our standard offer for 2021 
would be two A's and a B at A level uh, taken from three A levels or uh, equivalent qualifications if you're not taking A levels. Uh, you will also need to have a level five in English GCSE and a level six in maths GCSE. The grades get tweaked a little bit. So if you decide that Cardiff is the right university for you um, and you're really keen to come here then and make us a, your f firm choice, then we will reduce your offer to A and two Bs. We also think that the AQA extended project is something which is really useful. So if you are taking the extended project and you gain an A grade in your extended project, then we will lower your grade further again. Those two opportunities can be combined. So if you make us your firm choice, and you get an A in your extended project, um, then the offer would be three Bs. But our standard offer is two As and a B. And I think that's it. So hopefully that will give you an idea of what it's going to be like um, studying Cardiff. Um, there's lots more that, that you need to find out. And hopefully at some point you may get the opportunity to come and um, visit the university and chat to our students. But in the meantime, you have something to go on. Um, look at our website where there'll be um, the latest up-to-date information. If you have any questions, then just email us and we will get back to you. We'll find out what the answers are um, and we'll have a chat. So don't worry if there's anything that you need to know. Um, we'll be very pleased to hear from you. Thank you.